Ravi Madhu's cooking is all about inspiring everyone to cook delicious cuisines at home. Before proceeding further to watch this video, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. Don't forget to touch the bell button besides it so as to enable automatic notification of every new cooking video. Also like the video after watching it if you really like it. Click on description button below or if you are watching it on laptop, touch the show more button at bottom of description column to find the list of ingredients and detailed recipe text. Today we are making RB Paneer or Makani Kaviol that is taro cottage cheese and lotus seeds curry with spicy tangy thin gravy. It is very popular spicy staple in North Indian cuisine. It is a must to be served at wedding parties or dinners in UP and Rajasthan. To make this delicious curry take two or three medium size fresh taro roots and peel them by scrubbing with a sharp knife. Also remove the tips. Sprinkle with little wheat flour on peeled taro roots and toss to coat all well then wash thoroughly under. Running water while rubbing to clean. Sprinkling with wheat flour prevents slipping of taro from hands during washing. Cut washed taro roots first into halves, and then slice into long juliennes. Keep aside for a while. Now cut 50 to 70 gram paneer that is drained and pressed cottage cheese into 1 4 inch to 1 half inch size small cubes. Keep them also aside for a while. Now put a wok or frying pan over medium heat with enough ghee or cooking oil in it for deep frying. Carefully place taro, juliennes into hot oil. Reduce heat to medium low and fry while turning sides occasionally until taro is lightly golden at edges. Drain fried taro onto a plate and keep aside. Now add 25 to 30 makani that is lotus seeds into hot oil. Fry while stirring constantly at medium low heat until lightly golden. Drain fried lotus seeds also onto same plate and keep aside. Finally add paneer that is cottage cheese cubes carefully into hot oil. Fry while stirring until lightly golden at edges then drain onto same plate and set everything aside for a while. Now add 2 tablespoon ghee or cooking oil in clean wok over medium heat. Add 1 half teaspoon ajbane that is carom seeds into melted ghee and when carom seeds start to splutter reduce heat to medium low. Add 1 teaspoon bazan that is gram flour into wok. Stir vigorously and saute for a couple of minutes or until gram flour starts to change its color towards reddish and your kitchen fills with that mouth-watering aroma of roasted gram flour. Reduce heat to low and add 1 4th teaspoon haldi powder that is ground turmeric powder, 1 4th teaspoon or to taste red chili powder and one and a half teaspoon dhania powder that is ground coriander seeds. Stir and saute for one minute on low heat then pour one half cup water into wok while stirring. Whisk or churn one cup of dahi that is plain curd or yogurt and dilute it with one and a half cup water. Stir to make smooth solution that is lassi and keep aside for a while. Increase heat to medium and bring spice solution in wok to a simmer. While stirring constantly, or in prepared curd solution while stirring. Continue to stir constantly until solution in wok starts to boil. Reduce heat to medium low and simmer for 5 minutes while stirring occasionally. Now constant stirring is not required. Add fried taro cottage cheese and lotus seeds into simmering gravy. Stir to mix all well then reduce heat to low and simmer at low heat for another 5 minutes. Pour in more water if gravy has thickened because this curry is usually prepared with very thin gravy. Now season yol with 1 teaspoon or to taste salt. We are adding salt now because adding salt in the beginning along with other seasonings might result in curdling of curd solution. Stir to mix then taste and adjust the seasonings. Add whatever is required according to your taste. Now add 1 half teaspoon or to taste garam masala. Stir and simmer for another couple of minutes. Add 1 or 2 teaspoon chopped fresh cilantro or green coriander. Stir to mix well. Now melt 1 or 2 teaspoon ghee in a small tempering pan over. Medium low heat. Add 1 half teaspoon or to taste kashmiri or daji merch or paprika into melted hot ghee and quickly pour the temper over simmering gravy. Finally add 1 tablespoon or to taste freshly squeezed lemon juice into gravy. Adding lemon juice is optional but yol is usually prepared spicy and tangy. 
stir to mix and simmer for last 2 minutes then turn off the heat. Serve delicious spicy and tangy taro cottage cheese and lotus seeds curry with thin gravy that is RB paneer and makani kayol accompanied with puri naan roti paranthi or rice and enjoy. We hope that you have liked the recipe, please write your views in comments column below for sure, your feedback is really valuable for us, thanks.